East Chicago, a probationary police officer shot and wounded two people. WGN's Rob Sneed live tonight with more on what led to the shooting and the reaction. Rob? Good evening to you both. We're still getting the details in this, but authorities tell us uh, that you just mentioned a male and female are the suspects involved in this. They say that the man is a 21, it's a 20 year old and he is in serious condition after getting shot in the neck. He's being treated in, in a Chicago hospital at the moment. And also the woman, a 21 year old woman from East Chicago, uh, she was shot in the hip, buttocks and the waist. And right now she's uh, in stable condition. All of this so shocking to folks who live out here. They say they wish those officers involved well. I was kind of surprised because I've been here about 13 years now and uh, we don't really have incidents like that. An officer involved shooting left folks in this business area in shock and disbelief. We're like a community family based business um, and I feel protected here so it's like weird like seeing this and cops everywhere and stuff it's not it's not like the shooting happened at 9 this morning on Chicago Avenue and Indianapolis Boulevard. A police officer's license plate scanner saw that a beige Chevy Impala had tags belonging to an SUV. Inside that car, that man and woman. Police attempted to stop and called for backup. A backup crew came with a veteran officer sitting in the passenger seat with a probationary officer in the driver's seat. That officer was in training and just graduated the academy. Police say the male driver rammed the backup officer's car, pinning the veteran officer's leg on the passenger side of the squad car. It looks like it was intentional. He intentionally rammed the squad car, which pinned our field training officer's leg between the door and the front center panel. Um, once he rammed the car, he attempted to leave and he kept accelerating, which was furthering pinning the officer's leg in the squad car. Police say the driver continued to accelerate and the officer in training got out of the car and shot at the car, shooting the man and woman inside. Police say shot spotter picked up at least nine shots, but aren't sure if the suspect shot at officers or not, but say there was a gun inside of the car. The veteran officer was taken to the hospital and treated and released no broken bones reported, according to police. The officer that shot the suspects is on administrative leave, which is standard for officers involved in shootings. And as of right now, authorities aren't releasing the names of the officers or the suspects involved. Of course, we'll stay on top of this and bring you the latest information as we get it. Live in East Chicago, Rob Sneed. WGN News. Okay, Rob, thank you. Still ahead tonight.